Okay, I put pillows down to catch me. You're probably wondering what I'm doing. Well, I'm practicing my tightrope walking. That's when you walk on a rope that's stretched really tight. And you're usually really high up in the air. Yesterday was awesome. My friends and I went to a ropes course together. It's like a playground high up in the trees. Part of the course was to walk across a tight rope. Don't worry, we had helmets and something called a harness that catches us if we fall. Still worried? Well, to tell you the truth, so was I. It was my turn to cross the tight rope and all my friends were cheering me on. I looked at the harness. Friends, just like you, Callie is growing a lot. I wondered if that harness would really catch me if I fell. I looked at the tightrope and it seemed like it kept getting smaller and smaller. I was nervous. I knew I needed to have faith. Faith is when you have a really strong belief or trust in something or someone. I know it might sound silly, but I said a little prayer. I didn't really know what to say, so I just said the only thing I could think of. God, please help me get across. You want to know what happened next? Well, let's check out our Bible story and then I'll tell you. It's time for today's Bible story. It comes from the book of 2 Kings, chapter 4. One day, a woman came to Elisha with a really big problem. Her husband had died and she owed money to someone, but she couldn't pay it back. They said that they would take away her two sons if she didn't pay. Elisha wanted to help this woman, so he asked her what she had in her house. She didn't have much at all. All she had was a very small jar of oil. Oil was worth money, but she didn't have nearly enough to sell so she could pay the person she owed money to. Elisha told the woman to do something strange. Go around and collect empty jars from anyone she knows. She was to get as many jars as she possibly could. Then, Elisha told her to go back to her house and close the door. After that, she was supposed to take the little bit of oil she had and pour it into all the jars she had collected. How was she going to do that? She didn't have enough oil. What happened next was unbelievable. The oil kept coming. It kept coming out until every single jar she collected was filled with oil. She ran to Elisha to tell him what happened. Elisha wasn't surprised at all that God had done this for her. He told her to sell the oil, pay the man she owed money to, and live off of the money that was left. It may have seemed like there was nothing that could help the woman and her family. It may have seemed like collecting all those jars and trying to fill them with a tiny bit of oil was a silly thing to do. But what the woman learned that day was, I can have faith in God. Wasn't that an incredible story? It made me think of what happened to me when I had to walk on the tightrope. Oh yeah, I didn't finish telling you my story. So there I was, scared to walk out onto the tightrope. But I closed my eyes and took one step. And guess what? I fell, a lot. I fell four or five times. But every single time, the harness caught me and eventually, you know what? I made it across. It was so much fun. I wanted to do it again and again. That's why I'm practicing. I can't wait to go back and step on that tightrope again. Hmm. That makes me wonder about today's Bible story. I wonder how that woman felt about having faith in God after that day. She was in a pretty scary spot, just like me on that tightrope. Having faith in God can make us feel a little unsure sometimes. But God always comes through. That's why it becomes easier and easier to have faith in God. Well, friends, I'm going to keep practicing. Thanks for learning and growing with me. Remember our big idea for the day. I can have faith in God. 
You really can! God will catch you every time! 